In this video, video I'll be showing you how to create a clamp uh, suitable for clamping on either a table um, or chair or whatever. Okay, so first of all, what we need to do, is, as always, um, is change it from perspective to orthographic. Once you've done that, it should, um, the actual software actually remembers uh, your settings, so you probably only need to do that once. Okay, so next, what we do is we're going to go to the top view, and then I'm going to use the pan tool to move this around like so. I'm going to hit escape to exit out there. Then what I need to do is I need to zoom in, so I'm zooming in there by just um, taking my two fingers on the track pad and then drawing them towards myself. Okay, so next, um, like with any CAD drawing, it's always good to have a rough drawing first with dimensions on so that you can work from that, so an orthographic or a, a pictorial view. Okay, so first of all, we're going to be creating what we call, what, well, we're going to be creating the profile, then we're going to be extruding that up for the C part of the clamp. So for that, I'll be using the uh, sketch tools, and I'll be using the polyline tool from that, that set of sketch tools. Once I've done that, I want to start my um, drawing from this corner here, okay, so that I can clearly see the scale. Uh, that's going to help me draw accurately. And first of all, I want the my um, clamp to start at 30 millimeters. I want it to come out 30 millimeters, and I want to go to the zero, and then I'm going to make it 50 high. Then I'm going to bring out another 50, sorry, 30. I'm going to come down. I'm going to make it the clamp. F uh, let's think, maybe six millimeters um, uh, deep. So I'm going to type in the value there. Okay, six. And then I hit return and it will give me that there. Oops, sorry. Type it in again. Hit return, hit return again. Then I want to create another line, so I'm going to have to select that tool again, the polyline tool. And then I'm going to click on the sketch plane and then I can see there's a square there exactly where I want to start, which is where I started off. Okay, and I hold on to that and I come across and I want it to be six millimeters deep, so I want to actually make that, if I was to join it there, it'd be uh, it would actually be 5 millimeters there, so I'm going to type in 24 millimeters and that will make the thickness 6. Okay, then I'm going to hit return, and then I'm going to, if I uh, hit return, I'm going to hit return again, and then I'm going to select, uh, so I click on it, and that allows me to keep the tool. And then here, okay, so I want it to be 6 millimeters if I was to draw it to there, to snap there, it would only be 5 millimeters here. So I need to go 39 minus 1, which is 38, and that will give me the correct size. 38. Oops. 38. Sorry, 38. 38, okay. Then I'm going to hit um, return, return again, and then I'm going to click on here, and that will allow me to carry on drawing. I'm going to come all the way over to here. Uh, it's in alignment. I can see that black line above my pointer. It means it's in alignment. Then I'm going to bring it down to the bottom here and make sure I click there. And then, as you can see, this area, I just double click there just to finish that off. Or hit escape, sorry. As you can see, this area here is, uh, is like a light blue, um, which means it's a solid shape rather than just a line. If there was a gap there, the computer would recognize it as a line and then I wouldn't be able to extrude it later. Okay, so that's given me my profile. Then what I need to do, so go to the home view. So if ever you want to draw anything, make anything 3D extrude, I always go to the home view, otherwise you can't actually see how high you've uh, you've created, you've made it. Okay, then I'm gonna hit the fit tool. That's already fit, that's okay. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select the extrude tool, click on that, click on this, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to extrude it up. Now this depends on how, um, how thick I suppose you want the clamp. So I'm going to make mine, let's think, if I make mine 20 millimeters, in fact, I'm just going to type the value in there. It's quicker. Oops, 20. Twenty. Then hit return. Okay, so that has created, if I hit the fit tool, it should fit in the screen. Okay, so that's given me the clamp and size, the overall size. Now, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to add a radius at the moment, it looks very kind of blocky. It doesn't look very, uh, very like a designer's anywhere, anywhere near. It's just a basic shape. So I want to use the fillet tool to create a radius around the edge. So I click on that. 
then I can select more than one edge. I'm actually going to select all the external edges here, and I can even go through there, like so, through here, there. Just make sure I've got every single one edge. I think that's it. And then I'm going to give it a let's try a one millimeter radius. That looks about right. Oh, I've missed one of the radius, so I can put it in a second. Okay. So then I hit return. Now, if there's any, what I usually do then is use the orbit tool just to go around, just to make sure that I've missed any. So I've missed one, as I can see over here, a fillet, and on that edge at the back. So what I'm going to do is go back, just hit escape, go to the fillet tool. And I'm going to fillet that one and this line at the back, and it was one millimeter. Okay, like so. What I can actually do as well is I'm just going to hit return there. What I'm also going to do, I'm going to try and fillet that on the inside there, see if that will work. It might not work. Okay, so there I'm going to put a one millimeter, and you can see there that gives a concave fillet, and that will actually help with the strength of this um, this piece. Okay, next I'm going to use the this tool and I want to do the same thing on the other side so I'm going to use the fillet tool from here and I'm going to do that also one millimeter as well okay. one millimeter okay so I'll give it some some strength then I'm just going to double check to make sure that I've it's not allowing me to it's laggy sometimes the software Okay, it's working now. Um, I'm going to look underneath. Yep, I think that's pretty good. Okay, so hit escape. Right now, next what I need to do, I need to put a hole in the bottom here for a screw and a nut on the, the top side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, use this tool here, the rotate tool, and click on here. So it's, you can see there's a green line all the way around. It's more of a darker blue. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this circle part. I'm going to move it 90 degrees. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it so it's on the sketch plane. So it's alignment. What I also need to do, you can actually um, change the orientation of the view, I should say. Go front. And I can see there, there's the sketch plane. And I need to just move it up with this arrow here. And I just want it to be level there. And I'm just going to go here. Now that looks uh, good. Uh, what I might do as well is move it this way. Uh, I'm just going to go on the top view and I want that to be in the middle. Now that looks that's good. That's a good guesswork. I think that's in the middle there. Um, that's the center line there. So what I then do, hit escape. That's in the center. And then and what I can do with this drawing now, I can actually delete all those parts there if I want to just to tidy up the drawing or you can keep them it just it's easier for sometimes if you get rid of them see what you're doing okay so that's got that's tidied that up okay so next what I need to do so I'm going to go to the uh, to this view here and I'm going to use the orbit tool because I need to get inside here ah, and actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to oh, that'll do okay so next hit escape now I'm going to use the tool I'm going to use. I'm going to use the oh yes, this uh, from the sketch the sketch polygon. Now when I click on it, it is and then I'm going to sorry I've selected the polygon tool and then I'm going to click on this surface here because this is where I want to put that that shape. I'm going to click on this. Okay now what I'm going to do next now I've selected that surface but what I want to do next is if I go to the top view and then if I just draw I'm going to go to material outline only. So it's from this, sorry, from this um, menu here. Click on that now. What I'm then going to do looks like I'm putting it on top but because I clicked on that surface first. Um, um, originally should put it in the right place. Okay, so I'm going to actually put the clamp actually here should be okay. I think actually it probably should be probably in the middle there. So I'll actually that yeah, should be fine. So I'm going to use I'm going to click here. Right, is that about right? Yep. Okay, so I'm going to click there, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this out. Now, 
you can, I want a six-sided shape, so you can see out above there's a pill uh, that says six, and um, because I'm going to actually put a nut in there, uh, um, a six millimeter nut or quarter inch nut, uh, sorry, bolt, yeah, sorry, nut through there. Okay, now, um, the, the thread size is six millimeters, however, the actual head of the nut, sorry, the diameter of the nut is, is actually bigger. So what I want to do here, I want to make this at least, as I measured it with some vernier calipers, I want to make it 11 millimeters. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to type in, see this on the diagonal, is it? So I'm going to do, I might actually make it 12, then it will be, yes, I'm going to make it 12. Oh, sorry, it's the radius, isn't it? Sorry, I'm going to do it. So half of 12 is six. So I'm actually going to do it six millimeters in diameter. That looks about too big. No, that's about right. Okay. Then I'm going to, you can rotate it as well. I just want to make it, okay, so let's try it again. Um, six, wasn't it? Yep. Then I'm going to hit return twice. And now when I go to this view, you can see it looked like it was on the top, but it's actually, I've drawn that underneath because I clicked on this plane first. Okay. So next what I need to do is I need to extrude this shape down. So I'm going to Click that, and then if it's a nut, you, you get different size nuts. What I'm going to do actually is I'm going to click on up front there. Now you get different size nuts, so I'm going to use a um, like a narrow nut, which I think is three millimeters deep. Uh, I think they either come in three or six millimeters depth. In fact, I'm going to make it four just to be on the safe side, so I sink it in there. Next, I'm going to hit uh, return so that. I'm going to go here. Now it might be easier for you to see if I go go back to this and I go to materials and outline. So it's this tool here. And I can see there, if I go around here, I can see that should be, looks very big, but that should be the right size for the nuts. Okay. Um, so what I need to do next is I go to the front view and then I'm going to actually go underneath. And it's probably going to be better if I draw that circle. That's going to be a good idea to draw it on the bottom because I need to extrude it up. Okay, so I can click on here. Uh, that's the center of that um, hexagonal shape. I think you can just about see that. Then I need to make that uh, 6.5 millimeters in diameter. That's diameter rather than radius. Let's be careful with right radius and diameter. And then I click return, click return again now. Next, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the Orbit tool, and I'm going to change this around. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this up, and I'm going to extrude it all the way through. So I create a hole. Okay, then I'm going to Orbit there just to make sure I've got a hole through there. There we go, there's a hole through there, yep, all the way through. But then I've still got the hexagonal part, and the hexagonal parts here, this is where I glue the nut in place. And let's have a think. Let's just have a look at the rest of it. I think that's good. I'm trying to think if I've forgotten anything, I don't think so. And that's how you create um, part of the bracket. Um, yep, thank you for watching.